we have different type of vending machines like for fruit juices fruit salads normal conventional vending machines we have we can get the roi within a year and all and this machine can operate in the life cycle of this machine is 10 years the indian juice market is lies around 2.5 billion dollar and the 75% stake is dominated by the unorganized players so there's a huge market who is not targeted by the conventional vending machines the sectors people are very health conscious after corona as well so for for us it is a boon for us so hello everyone welcome back to a new episode of vendify where we talk about vending machine businesses and technology so today here with me is the gofresh team who are the first of its kind juice and salad vending machine in india So here with me is Vikas the founder and CEO of GoFresh and Dishant the founder and CMO of GoFresh. So let's start with you Vikas. How it all started with GoFresh? The idea, the technology, the development, how it all started? How it is started like uh, when we are into the market we identify the problem which is the hygiene. So a lot of hygiene issues in the juices we figure out and then we discuss about the team like uh, how we can resolve this problem so we come up with the solution like we need to re- uh, remove the hygiene issues from the society so we need to develop a vending machine for that so that's uh, how we started after that we develop a vending machine for fresh fruit juices and salads after that we realized that uh, this is not uh, the common uh, problem for two three juices but it has uh, some uh, other juices also like sugar cane juice pomegranate juice orange juice lime juice so we started work on that also so after that we start uh, developed this machine in short we have filled the gap in the market for this juice vending machine by bringing this product as a juice vending machine so uh, your vending machine the only uh, you only have one vending vending machine or there are types of vending machines right now we have one develop uh, one vending machine operational in uh, noida sector 125 Uh, one vending machine has uh, the fruit salad fruit juices it is in our r&d division and uh, three vending machine we are in production so we have different type of vending machines like for fruit juices fruit salads normal conventional vending machines we have so we have different uh, different kind of vending machines so uh, do you think in the future are you going to differentiate your vending machines as one vending machine will be for only juices the other vending machine will be for fresh salads maybe the other vending machine for fruits only or they all will be combined no no we are segregating the all the vending machines because we need to make it more uh, compact and viable for the customers if we are uh, providing all the products in one vending machine then the size is so huge it is not uh, adoptable for the market also and, and the I, price will also high and, and adding to that we can customize this vending machine according to the customer need and the right right now we are providing fresh juice machine vending machine different fresh salad machine different so uh, my next question will, uh, will be with you dishan so uh, what do you, uh, what are the factors that you consider before choosing a location for your vending machine basically mainly there are three factors we we need a location which is 24/7 of operational secondly we need to identify a target audience and thirdly footfall is the main criteria and you can say we can, uh, how we can decide our target areas there are mainly four target areas corporates hospitals universities and shopping malls and tourist areas so we are focused focus on all these areas initially so uh, uh, in india there are la- uh, hundreds and thousands of malls schools colleges all right so do you think uh, uh, what market uh, can you capture in, uh, in the, that sector i can Say you that there is a huge gap in the market, and the machine that we have brought in this area, we are the first in India to bringing fresh juice machine within 45 seconds through, and we are delivering the fresh juice through this vending machine within 45 in an automatic process. We are the first one in the market, and market is open. Every building is, there is there is a requirement in every building, and secondly, we we do have a huge orders, so we are hoping to capture this market. we can we can capture we can n number of machines n number of buildings there is no limit so uh, india is a growing vending machine industry right? yeah you can say it is just a starting you can say it is a telecom sector in 2000 you can say that is the starting of this vending machine area in india and right now uh, the thing is we are seeing a lot of traditional vending machines that are selling snacks and yeah. uh, chips and all those things soft drinks but uh, 
since you are the first uh, company that is selling fresh juices from their vending machine how hard it, it will be to market your vending machine in the uh, secondly the, i will add to this that we don't want to market our product we are a market product fit in the market there is a huge we are thanks to our customer we are getting a huge response from our customers there is urgency required for healthy options in the market and there is a lack of availability of health healthy juices there are only two types of juices in the market available first is street vendors that is un- unhealthy and second is packed juices you also know that what is the criteria of packed juices so we are filling the gap of fresh juice with the healthy options by through this vending machines uh, yeah, so vikas uh, as uh, you said that you are the first uh, company that is selling fresh juices from a vending machine right so uh, are there any t- uh, vending machines that are doing the same thing uh, in different countries yeah different countries they have the machines but uh, they are providing single juice vending machines and in india there is uh, very few machines are there but uh, they are importing from those countries so these machines are not viable as per the indian uh, environment and they are selling j- juices glasses like uh, 200 rupees per glass so it is not affordable for uh, <laughs> like like us <laughs> and i didn't do that in that machine they were they are providing only one type of juice that is orange in what the other one the machine that we have made we are providing four types of juices orange mosambi pomegranate and mixed fruit juice and still it is more viable than the single juice vending machine. and apart from that we are developing a new machine for sugar cane juice and lime machine as well lime juices so uh, as you will grow bigger and bigger all those companies that are selling single fruit juices will know about you so do you think they will also develop the same kind of machine that you are developing of of, of different kind of juices also do you think that other competitors from other countries will also try to come in india and try to compete with you in the same market definitely they will try but the thing is uh, right now the market is very huge and it is very open yeah. to the everyone secondly we have already filed a patent for our technology product in this area and thirdly you can say that apart from us everyone is importing from outside india and if they if they are copying we are most welcome they can copy our machine and we will be very helpful we will be very well healthy competition is every which is most welcome everywhere so uh, you picked the category the fresh fruits category fresh fruit juice so yeah fresh fruit juice category which is usually uh, usually not seen or if seen in a very low ratio agree so do you think it will be hard for you to grow in this market no 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 at this stage we are we are we are we are getting warm responses from hospitals corporates different universities in fact from shopping complex we are we are having orders from government also so we are well for this people are very health conscious after corona as well so for for us it is a boon for us and we are moving forward and we are we are hoping for a good response and let well. me show you the facts uh, on this regard like uh, the indian juice market is lying is around 2.5 billion dollar and the 75% stake is dominated by the unorganized players like street vendors only so there's a huge market who is not targeted by the conventional vending machines the sectors so we are targeting those market like it is a huge market for fresh juices and so no doubt there is a huge market and a great opportunity you can say that xyz if you, if you want to drink a healthy and uh, healthy juice at this stage people are opting for a packed juice item because street vendor juices are unhealthy but they don't have any other viable option that's why they are taking packed juice items in the, in the malab where and we are installing these machines yeah we are getting a good huge response and all the packed juices are not selling in that area and packed juices have their their con, uh, cons also like their preservatives added sugars added flavors so every customers are looking for the fresh and natural juices so we are providing it we are providing without sugar and without dilution without yeah. of water but uh, vikas uh, there are a lot of brands right now that are coming in the market that are selling fresh juices right yeah. in packaged bottle yeah. no sugar no added preservatives mm. so do you also see them as your competitors yeah competition is uh, everywhere we are also a competition for someone's <laughs> uh, because if you are spending 50 rupees like uh, so you have single choice you can spend it in on uh, cold drinks or you can spend it on uh, juice so it is your choice but With- uh, our job is to provide the actual worth of your money secondly like- secondly you can say that we are providing a natural juices to them uh, in front of them they they will be getting a proper juice without water without as, as i have already told you that and all other competition are they are giving packed items and packed items are preservatives 
but technically in that sense we don't have any competition and we are open to competition as well so uh, right now dishant uh, what is your revenue model basically our revenue model we generate revenue through three streams first by selling juices second we take away product healthy take away products in that machine we do have a vending vending option also like a normal vending machine and thirdly we can we generate revenue through advertisement as well we do, we do have a ad, advertisement screen as well in this machine it's yeah. our b2b business all right so uh, do you think apart from these three models in the future uh, there will be more options available for you to uh, for as revenue to grow more and more apart from these three revenue models apart from these you can say that we are open for franchises as well we already close two franchises and we are open for more franchises as well and we are we are in talk with them as well and in, in for franchise you can say we are running an off foco model franchise own company operated model and that model basically investor has just want to invest in our machine and all all the operation from a to z a to z company will be doing that so uh, vikas uh, there are a lot of uh, comp- american companies there there are uh, quite a few good american companies that are selling quality vending machines and uh, uh, exporting uh, to uh, various parts in the world so do, do you think uh, in the next 5 to 10 years as you have manufactured your own machine do you think in the next 5 to 10 years indian manufacturing and the vending machines that are manufactured from india will be able to compete with those american brands definitely uh, it's all about the standards and the vision like we have uh, initially we was trying to uh, collaborate with someone who can manufacture machine for us also but end of the day we manufactured uh, for ourselves so and uh, right now we are started uh, our manufacturing facility and uh, started ex- uh, cvm machines conventional vending machines manufacturing so no doubt very soon we will uh, export those machines there, there is huge potential as well and yeah. as we are getting support from modi ji product incentive scheme as well so there is a huge market huge potential there are many orders we are getting also from abroad and we are in talks with them as well so uh, you told me that uh, you are also uh, manufacturing conventional vending machines yeah. so apart from juice vending machines you are also going to uh, manufacturing into uh, the uh, normal uh, traditional vending machines right so you're trying to uh, capture the manufacturing vending machine market of india as well apart from that we started to manufacture uh, because there is a huge potential and huge market share of the vending machines like uh, uh, i uh, gone through some stats like in us vending machines are common for uh, more than a decade now and now the india is also emerging market for the vending machines so why not we <laughs> yeah yeah that's a good point so adishant uh, do you think uh, any new business owner can yeah. consider a vending machine business as a full time business or it's, is it still a side business yeah technically if you you can say that it is, it is a side business for him right at this stage and later on as as or when he will be growing in this business because this business he doesn't need to invest his time he just just need to invest the machine and machine will get give him roi automatic way so as soon as he will be multiplying the machines it will be a full time business sooner or later on like many many that we have read case studies in different countries many of the people are running industries in vending machines operating 100 100 machines plus so uh what uh, uh, your machines cost right now for for juice vending machine our machine cost about 8 lakh rupees per gst and for non conventional vending machine our machine cost starts from 2 lakh rupees so it some, depends on what is what is the variety and what are the features he is want for someone who is just uh, starting their vending machine business journey uh, don't you think that 8 lakh rupees is a lot for a vending machine yeah it depends on the return of investment uh, you are putting it in mm-hmm. like uh, if you are investing 2 lakh rupees in a conventional vending machine it will give you like uh, for example 5 to 7000 rupees per month mm-hmm. and uh, we are expecting the good returns in terms of uh, fruit juice vending machines like we have the advertisement screens we have the conventional vending machine products uh, which has 20 products range and uh, we have four type of juices in the machines so no doubt to in all of the above the product we are selling has 50% net profit so the major concern is to provide the fresh juice vending machine in the market is to more money than the conventional vending machine that's why in short you can say that we can Uh, we can get the ROI within a year, and all and this machine can operate. In the life cycle of this machine is ten years. If and we can handle it remotely. Everything is cloud based. 
and all their operations and uh, things taken and, care by the GoFish. And if you compare with so, the ROI of FD or ROI of any stock, so it is more than that. And eight lakh rupees includes machine cost plus franchisee cost plus backend operations. Everything. We have all made in the all software. All in like one. all in uh, the things are included. So, um, and if you want to start a normal vending machine business, then you can start from two lakh as well. For fresh juice vending machine, okay. it is a costlier effect, and that is but the fact. The returns are. <laughs> uh, yeah. So one of the major challenges when you start a fresh fruit or fresh salad or fresh vegetable uh, business is uh, that these things. uh you know go bad uh, in a short period of time so uh, how d- uh, are you going to overcome that because fruits or uh, any vegetable kind of thing can go bad in one or two or three days yeah. if they don't uh, sell out no 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 uh, for that reason we are taking care of the shelf life so through the vending machines we have uh, the refrigeration unit in the machines uh, so providing ambient temperature for the fruits and uh, without dilution of ice we are delivering a drinkable uh, temperature to the customer to enhance their uh, feel and after that we have the warehouse setup from where like we are sorting uh, the, those fruits and after that we are washing and uh, refilling all the operations are taken care by the go fresh and and in that we are refilling the machine every day in the morning and machine is refilling twice a day first in morning and second in evening to so, minimize the wastage and in thirdly you can get this you can check the stock of the freshness through erp as well so we are refilling the stock daily basis and it was a good question it was a initially it was a challenge but we have overcome that challenge all right all right got it got it yeah so uh, vikas i like to ask you that quality is a very prominent factor when you are deciding a vending machine right but uh, there are some vending machines uh, the technology is almost the same in every vending machine but there are some vending machines that cost a lot due to their rigidity so do you think just for the rigidity a person should uh, spend more on a vending machine if the technology is same the focus should be on uh, always like the quality because it's a asset and we are creating for the 10 years uh, life span so and uh, we are dealing in fresh fruit juices it's a food processing unit so definitely we are uh, we don't want to compromise our quality and uh, quality has the price <laughs> and and adding to that basically we should add on quality every time quality is most important and we are using food grade material and this machine are giving returns as well so uh one more question uh, that i like to uh, ask you because that as a ceo of a company that is very new in the indian market in uh, indian industry right and as the first company what were the challenges that you faced particularly a uh, what the challenge i faced particularly like uh, if you are talking about the juices so very less market is considered hygiene issues so to target these things we need to take care of the price factor also because niche market is don't care about the price mm-hmm. so our target market is like us so we need to make it project more viable mm-hmm. product should be viable for the end consumer so that's why we introduce multiple uh, juice option in the machine to make this machine viable 